I just have an absurd amount of things. My vanity room and closet. A lot of PR. I just don't have any room for it. I'm an independent woman. Also, it's Valentine's Day that I'm doing this. Here's the situation. I don't ever wear it because honestly, it makes me feel bad. I'm making pretty good progress. It's really hard to go through everything. Got rid of a few more things. It's organized chaos now before it was just like chaos chaos. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very fun video. We're gonna be organizing, we're gonna be building, we're gonna be getting rid of shit, we're going to be doing all of those things and I'm very excited because something about me, I love organizing. Also kind of hate it, it's a love hate. So if you watch my videos, you know I have way too much stuff. I just have an absurd amount of things. I collect every single thing that I like. I like purses, so I collect them. I like shoes so i collect them i like jackets so i collect them i like little black dresses so i collect them like i just have a problem i have a lot of stuff i also am so blessed and get a lot of pr sent to me so that just means that i have a lot of things and i need a just better organization so today's goal is to just do that i've lived in this apartment for two years now and this room has done me so good this is the most closet space that i've ever had in my entire life and it is amazing i really love it but I am outgrowing it somehow. Give me a room and I will fill it. So I basically decided that I just need to make some changes to make it more livable, more useful, make every space corner of this room count. Let me show you guys the situation. It's pretty clean right now, but it's just jam packed, okay? So this is the room directly when you walk in. So it's like my vanity room and closet in one. I have these two things. I'm thinking about getting another one of these Alex drawers to go next to it right here because I feel like this just looks so cluttered and I hate clutter so much. It makes me feel like I'm losing my mind. That's basically the biggest issue with this room right now. It's very, very, very cluttered. And when I'm in a space that has a lot of clutter, I feel like I can't think properly properly and this room is meant to be a space where I can feel creative, I can create content, I can just be inspired and it's lately been making me feel very overwhelmed so I just want it to have a better system when it comes to organization. So yeah also in this corner we have a lot of PR. I just don't have any room for it. I'm so excited to use it all but I haven't been able to use it because I don't have room to have it organized. So I did something exciting that we're gonna get together today. This wall we did some rearranging. I also need to put this laundry away just ignore that. So this dresser used to be in the middle of this wall and I had my hamper over here. I moved my hamper to in my bedroom and I pushed the dresser over to the corner and I got Alex nine drawers to put here so we need to build that today and that hopefully will help me with the situation that is this corner she got delivered yesterday and we're gonna build her I'm actually so excited I feel like this is going to be a game changer for this room oh my god <sighs> these drawers are really freaking heavy yesterday when they got delivered I had to meet the guy downstairs and I didn't realize how heavy this was and i met him and i was like oh it's fine you can leave it down here i'll just bring it up myself like it's all right because i feel bad he literally looked me up and down he was like uh i think we got it i was like all right say so if you, you want to do that you can so they bring it all the way upstairs and they leave it right outside my apartment door and when i tell you guys it took me a solid 10 minutes just to get it inside my apartment door like if i had to carry this thing up the stairs i would have probably died so thank god that they told me no you know i could hire like a task rabbit guy it's not like an app i don't know i could do that to have somebody come build this but i just i don't know i'm an independent woman and i can do this so let me ow 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 also, it's Valentine's Day that I'm doing this. This is how I'm spending your Valentine's Day, being an independent builder ass bitch, okay? I'm winded. I brought it down the hallway. Okay, here's the situation. This is very overwhelming. <laughs> Send your prayers, please. I'm watching episode five of The Bachelor right now. I want to know everyone's opinions if you're watching it too. I love Maria. I think she's real as fuck, and she makes me laugh. Also, all of her outfits are so good she's just everything this is the first season that i'm watching in years and it's it's doing it for me i love it it's good i missed it i missed watching i'm such a sucker for some reality tv even though i feel like the bachelor is so fake so much of it scripted 100 percent but it's keeping me entertained while i'm doing this i'm trying to make room because i need to get all the big pieces 
built together first. This is literally making me break a sweat. I need this off right now. Okay. <sighs> I forgot to grab a screwdriver. That just shows that this is not my forte, but BRB. Okay, I'm back and I'm prepared. The Alex Nine drawer used to not have these built in, and it was the most annoying part of building this. The first one I ever got was like, probably like five years ago and I had to install these and it was so annoying it's so much more easy to build this now literally was dreading building this since I ordered it because I forgot that they can't install now I just need to put the drawers in and then she's all built also this episode of The Bachelor is so good these girls are so dramatic I was trying to picture what I would be like if I were on The Bachelor and I truly can't even tell you like I, I don't even know because it really depends on how much I like the guy because I'm so picky. I could see myself literally going on and not even liking the guy at all. So if that were the case, I would literally just send myself home where I would really like him and I would absolutely lose my mind. I just don't understand if these girls all genuinely do really like him. Like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Honestly, I laugh at all the girls that like completely lose their shit. But like being in that environment has to be the most toxic thing for your mental health literally ever so no wonder they literally go ape shit i'm so excited about this this is gonna be such a game changer i feel like it's gonna give me so much more room okay now i'm gonna go through all of this and separate it by what it is and then we will get to not really organizing but just putting each thing like i want a foundation drawer mascara you get the you get it okay i got a lot done but honestly i still have so much more to go i'm gonna rearrange all of this and go through what's in here and combine see what's gonna go where but for now i just put lip products in here some hair stuff in here that are just like extras of products that i'm currently using some blushes contours and setting sprays foundations primers and concealers this is like actually insane here's a bunch of eyelashes which i don't want a whole drawer dedicated to just because i don't really wear lashes that often but i have a lot because i just got a ton in pr so probably gonna give some to friends that wear lashes more and also probably combine this drawer with something else here we have palettes and i just threw some perfumes in there a bunch of extra skincare body products and all my nail stuff because I do my own nails now so and then I pushed my vanity down a little bit so that I could have room on either side for these little cart things because honestly even though I kind of hate them I need them so I pushed it down so that these could still open perfectly with this being here and here I have all my like daily kind of body and face products some hair products and then I have a bunch of face masks and just other things that need a home and then on this side hair products more face and hair and body guys this is nuts this is definitely not done but i need to do some other things right now so it's gonna be done for tonight and i will see you guys when we continue this project okay let's do this it's time to actually start decluttering cleaning out my closet it's a sunday i feel like this is the perfect day i'm cleaning i already cleaned out my bathroom i'm like just trying to declutter honestly my whole apartment and just organize everything because i just feel like i have such an abundance of stuff i'm making gift bags for people in my life to give extra pr to and i'm just i'm just doing the damn thing okay so my plan today is to take every single piece of clothing out of my closet and only put back in what i know i'm going to wear i do this like a few times a year and i am really bad at getting rid of things if i have like a memory attached to it i won't want to let go of it if i think it's cute obviously i don't want to let go of it but like some things are cute but their time in your closet's up like there are so many things in my wardrobe that i don't ever reach for and i don't ever wear but i think it's cute but i just don't wear it anymore so i'm gonna really try my best to get rid of a good amount of things today because i really don't have the room for it anymore and i really want to focus on 
on building just like a capsule wardrobe this year it's one of my like personal goals for the year just because i feel like if you have a capsule wardrobe you have pieces that you know you're gonna wear i feel the most confident in like timeless classic pieces so i want my wardrobe to consist of just that okay so that's the goal i just took all of my black gray and white tops out of my closet my closet is color coded which makes this very nice so i have a lot of black tops so i'm gonna try to cut that down a bit we're gonna go through these super fast and please pray for me thank you the black tops is what is going to be the biggest struggle honestly because i love wearing black so okay this bodysuit i do like but i feel like had this literally since like freshman year of high school it's from brandy melville i feel like my boobs just like bust out of it now and it doesn't look as cute as it looked on me in high school and i also should literally not be wearing something that i used to wear when i was 14 anymore like i'm going to be 24 this year that was 10 years ago okay now i'm just aging myself i need to shut up because now i just am upset i think i'm gonna sell this on poshmark it says i heart to make boys cry i wore this it had its moment i took pictures in it i don't ever wear it because honestly it makes me feel bad we're gonna get rid of this i don't hurt to make boys cry anymore i actually have a couple that i need to apologize to anyway this top is cute but i never find myself reaching for it i've actually never worn it it's from white fox i just feel like i don't think it's flattering on me so we're gonna let her go anything that i personally have bought i'm going to list on my poshmark and then whatever i've gotten gifted to me i'm donating okay this i think it's too cropped i don't love a super crop moment anymore so we're gonna get rid of that this though okay it has deodorant all over it i don't know what's going on but this is super cropped but it has very high-waisted pants that it goes with and i'm gonna keep it love 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 this me two seconds ago i don't really like crop tops anymore but this is like different because this could be styled with like something that's super high-waisted that other top can't this is super old from princess polly i just feel like it looks just kind of like worn out so she's had her moment we're gonna let her go i don't know if i see myself wearing this again i think i've worn it i don't know i don't know i can't decide Oh God, this is so hard guys i'm really bad at freaking letting things go i'm like this is all too cute okay this top i've never worn but i don't like the way that it fits me so i'm going to get rid of that okay so i got rid of one two three four five six black tops <laughs> that's like not oh my god oh boo wants to jump on you guys that's really that wasn't that good i thought i was gonna get rid of more better than nothing okay better than nothing all right white tops let's go every time that i do these videos i think i'm gonna get better at letting go of things but it just never gets easier i feel like i never reach for this shirt so we're gonna get rid of it okay this one if you guys know any hacks of how to get rid of pit stains tmi i know disgusting whatever let me know because i love this shirt it's so cute look at the little baby on it but it has pit stains but i'm gonna keep it because i want to try to get rid of those okay this i'm gonna get rid of this too i just feel like the fit of it i don't know it's not my favorite love this this is gonna go super old top from princess polly i just feel like it looks old so many of my white tops just have pit stains i don't that's so fucking gross and i never talk about that but i literally have a sweating problem like i sweat so much it's like an anxiety thing if i'm anxious sweating profusely so a lot of my white tops suffer because of that and i really need to learn how to get that out if it's even possible if not i'm just never wearing a white t-shirt ever again i also have been thinking about getting botox in my armpits because of this let me know if you guys have done that and if it worked because i'm very much thinking about it that wasn't that successful but got rid of like seven tops or something i don't know okay this is this is a struggle Okay, it doesn't look much better, but it feels like there's a little bit more room at least. I'm going to put away some laundry that I have that also go into the section and hopefully it all fits nicely. I don't know, I did the best I could. I just went through a bunch of my dresses off camera and I actually got rid of quite a few. I have a pile here, this is everything I'm getting rid of. And then this is stuff that needs to go to my parents' house because I don't wear it in the colder weather. Even though I feel like colder weather is coming to an end, 
kind of shortly. It's whatever. I need the space right now. So going pretty good so far. Now I need to go through all of this. This is actually insane, but I feel like I'm making pretty good progress. I don't know if I'm just telling myself that or if I really am. <laughs> I went through all of these clothes and I just decided that I'm going to organize all of my sweaters on this i already started putting some of them just because i feel like it takes up so much room here and it's making it really hard to go through everything so got rid of a few more things oh my god i have way too many jackets this is crazy we definitely need to downsize a bit this jacket I feel like can go. I love it. It's really cute. Super old Princess Polly, but I literally never wear it. Anytime I try to style it, it just doesn't work. So she's had her moment. She can go. This jacket too can go. I just never ever reach for it. So this rain jacket, I literally don't even know. Like why do I have this? I'm never ever gonna wear that. I think it's time to let go of this jacket. I've had it for so long and it keeps me very warm, but every time that I wear it, it makes me look like a big marshmallow and it looks very silly. I want for next winter to get like a nice quality fur coat that's like big and like a statement and this just like isn't what I want. So I'm gonna let go of it. It takes up way too much room to not love it with my entire heart, you know? Okay, I feel good. We're making a progress. Time to attack the pant closet. Very scared of her. That is insane. Okay, where the hell do I start? Okay, it's time to try pants. I hope that this inspires me to actually wear some of the pants I have slash obviously figure out which ones don't fit me and I can get rid of. I feel like I'm just such a creature of habit and when I know that I feel good in something that it's comfortable, I just wear that on repeat but like for example these pants these are so cute and i honestly forgot i even had them another pair of pants that i completely forgot i even owned these are also so comfortable so cute they definitely need to be tailored because these are the kind of pants that i would want to wear with sneakers i believe I don't even need to try these on to know that I need to get rid of them because I literally never, ever, ever wear them. I've had them for years. Don't think I've ever worn them, so they're gonna go. I'm scared for these ones. They're from Brandy Melville. I've never worn them and I don't know why actually because I do think they're really cute, but I also do think they may not fit. Oh, I was really expecting these to not fit at all and they actually fit really well. Are we kidding? What is going on right now? I don't know but these are cute. If you guys see me wearing the same like five pairs of jeans in the next few vlogs, please comment and yell at me because I seriously need to switch it up and stop wearing the same things over and over again. It's bad. Okay, next we have these cargo pants that I think I should get rid of. I don't know, let me try them on. But I feel like they just have had their time. I ordered them off of Amazon. They're like men's cargos. I feel like that was like a trend going on TikTok like a couple years back where everyone was just getting like men's cargos on Amazon. I wore them. They were very big on me and looked silly. But we can try them on and see. Like I swear these are the cargos that like my ex would wear actually. Like why? I think that these are the stupidest thing. Like I see the vision, but like they're, they could be just, we could get way cuter ones. Like these are just not it. Okay, these are going. I'm going to run through the rest of these. If there's any notable ones that I think I should show you, I will pop in, but this is gonna take me forever. So I'm just gonna run through really quick off camera because I feel like this is gonna get really boring really quick. Bear me. Okay, we got rid of eight pairs of pants. I'm actually really, really impressed by that. I tried on all of my pants and all of these fit really good. So now I just need to actually wear all of them and not just keep wearing the same things over and over again, but very, very successful. This is also a pile of everything that I need to get tailored because I have so many things that don't fit properly or are too long, so I don't wear them. So I'm gonna have to do that. Then over here, these are pretty organized for the most part but i definitely have a couple of things like this set i'm never probably gonna wear again and just like a couple of other things so i'm just gonna go through this really quick and pull out a couple of things that i feel like i'm just not gonna grab for
Okay, don't mind my appearance. I am trying sleeping with this nose strip on because I have the worst sinuses ever. Um, but <laughs> I finished cleaning and I actually got so much done. I'm so happy. I have one more thing I want to do in the morning, but I'll show you guys what we have done. This room is so organized and so clean. Everything has a home. This is what it looks like when you walk in. These Alex 9 drawers seriously have been such a game changer. I still haven't gotten organization for inside of them, but it honestly is working great as is, so I'm really, really happy. Also, this and this, I have them more organized now, and it's just, I don't know, I just feel, I feel very happy with how this is. Like, everything looks good, nothing shoved away in a corner, like, everything is clean there's no clutter really i mean i still have a lot of shit but everything's like put away neatly it's organized chaos now before it was just like chaos chaos like i literally used to have my hamper right here and then in this corner it was empty and i literally would just throw clothes behind the hamper because it was hidden but it was still cluttered like i still knew it was there and it was just a bunch of shit collecting dust in that corner so now everything is forced to have a home and I'm just really happy look at my hallway right now i have it lined up with all this stuff I made a couple bags for people. This is all stuff that I want to just like store in my room at my parents' house. This is a bag for somebody. And then these two are for donations. And then I have a pile of clothes that I want to list on Poshmark too. So I need to do that. It's a couple days later. I got this for my lipsticks. If it's so many more, I have this one currently and I'm still gonna use this one too, but needed more storage because I have a lot of lipsticks. I'm literally a hoarder with lip products, but I love them, so it's okay. obsessed with this i feel like it really helps with my lip product organization and i put like a bunch of lip oils and stuff on top and i'm obsessed i have so many more lipsticks on display which i feel like will make me use all of them and not only stick to the same couple of colors because they're like right in my face and i put all my mac ones in this and i feel like it just looks so sleek i have the rest of the lip products in here i this is like actually out of control but it makes me so happy like this collection right here is literally like oh my god it's my serotonin right there there it is i love it okay now i'm going to put up my shelves i ordered a bunch of these little shelves from amazon i will link them in my storefront and they're gonna go all up either side of this mirror so i literally bought a power drill also my mom was just here she took home all of the stuff that i'm getting rid of so that was a big help here are all the shelves here is my power drill and I bought this level thing. So we are legit over here and I'm so excited. I've actually never drilled anything in my entire life. So I hope that I can figure it out. Excuse me, Frankie. I wanted my mom to say to help me, but she had to go. So that's fine. I think I can figure this out. Ooh, it's kind of cute. Red and black. That's like everything that I wear lately. Okay, hopefully it came charged. Okay. Who needs a boyfriend, literally? Actually, it would be nice to just be like laying down and being like, babe, can you hang up these shelves? But you know, that's just not the case here. It's not the case at all. Step two, drill holes into all the marked areas with the twist drill bit. I don't think I have the right drill bit, but I actually don't think this is gonna work. How could they sell you a drill and not give you all the right pieces? My question. I feel like I'm gonna fuck something up. Hold on. I just instacarted this drill bit kit because I needed a twisty one. So now we are ready to go. I almost just fell asleep, but we're back. We're back in business. And I'm happy this happened because I realized that I put the marks on the wrong spot. So now we have them in the right spots and we're ready to go. Okay, moment of truth, let's see. Gorgeous. This is gonna take me actually so long. It's 9.23, I started at nine and I have one shelf up. But hey, one is better than not. Well, this is gonna look so freaking good once this is all done. Like how cute. Oh my God, it's gonna be like Barbie's room or something. I'm obsessed. Okay, now time to install the rest. <laughs> I love this, yay. I feel bad, I feel like my neighbors like are gonna hate me. 
have like seven more to go or more. I think I have more. Okay, I'll be here. Okay, we got up four shelves. I am done for tonight because it is almost 11 o'clock and I don't want my neighbors to seriously hate me because I just felt them getting mad at me through the walls. This is what we have going so far. I'm literally obsessed. I feel like this is just such a good use of the space and I love my heels so much. So this just lets me put them on display. I'm also contemplating, I bought enough shelves. I don't know if I should return them to do them on either side i don't know if it's gonna be too much or if it'll look good but if i do it on either side then i'll be able to also put like purses and stuff so we'll see i don't know i'm gonna finish up this side tomorrow and go all the way to the ceiling so we'll reassess the situation once i finish that but yeah that's all for now i'm gonna go to sleep and i'm gonna finish this in the morning it's the next day i put all my shelves up they look so good i decided against putting them on either side just for now because I feel like it just might look like too much but let me know what you guys think but I'm really really happy with how this turned out I think it looks very very good and I'm just so happy to have my closet organized and for all my cute shoes to have a home like how cute is that now I like feel like a Barbie like tell me that that doesn't look straight out of Barbie's house I'm obsessed with that. Thank you guys for helping me. Thank you guys for helping me clean my closet. It has been a blast. I feel so good. Whenever I get rid of things, I just feel like a weight lifted off my chest, literally. So feeling really good about the progress that we made and everything has a home. Everything's organized. Literally the best feeling ever. So take this as your sign to go organize your closet. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.